hello guys welcome back to a new video today we will be learning how to do a solar eclipse in universe sandbox 2 now this video was meant to be made in this like right before the solar eclipse of april 8 2024 uh but it's a little late so let me show you how to do it you want to make a new simulation here and then you do the we go to tools and then create or add depending what you want now you can choose anything but i would like to have i would like to have formal b a star which is like sm smaller than our sun I'd actually want to have a random main sequence strike called each couple. Both the red dwarfs. Ooh. Now we can do anything but red dwarfs and now. Uh, Why will oh. because red dwarf are unreal it's like unrealistic for red dwarf to have a solar eclipse because like their planets are tightly locked and they're really close. The star is really close to 28 masses of the I just said locked. Lock the mass is 0 0.964. Lock the radius. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Alright, lock the mass. April. Alright, that's good. Now the temperature. No, 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 no. We will double that. The sun is like approximately close to that. And it's pause. The Celsius five thousand. Oh. So this is just like 500 degrees higher. Great. So next of all, uh, so since we made our star, next up, we need to get our planet. Now we can do anything. We can do a habitable planet like Earth. We can do G. Uh, you can do Mercury. But for this. But this, we're gonna use a random rocky planet. Hold up. No. Let's check its luminosity, bruh. Hmm. Yeah, about that, yeah. and random market planet. Hello, Kaskupi. Now let's make this a super earth and let's add wa water so that life will be able to see this. Uh, Like back then, it's pure uh, one. Nine shoot radius. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Next, it's surface. 
Elevation map uh, that should be. I mean, that we want it to be type 10, like huge magnitude, and then elevation map 2 that should be uh, Europa. I mean, that we can have it as Europa, and like that too. Hello. Uh, We we do want a little bit more water. All right, uh, light. Let's do video. Our plan is made a uh, vegetation if have no right, it's surface. Let's put one gram, ten hundred thousand. I have a fuck out here. Oh no! Oh. I didn't mean to do that, bro. Okay, something happened. It grew by a little. Then we need a random boat. So, we didn't put like a dot for Orbits instead. I feel like you should heed a moon. Ooh, this is bigger than the moon and way more massive. Take the lock. And then lock down. And two. 
this should be realistic. Oh no. Well, we can always clean it up. Okay, that could work. Oh, wow. Okay. I, uh, now we go down. And then the, and then we get this. Ah! No. So that down to like ooh. and then this is just trial and error. I'd actually like this part too. So you can see this is the or orbital path. I guess we need to go a bit more north. Hey, where's the star? Okay, there's the moon over it. What about that continent? Put your ass. Nope. If we move that way. No, but that does look like that it is it it's closer to the star. I don't know what's called. So this is like approximately the center. Oh my god, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should go north. We should go up here. No. Below. And no, I don't want to turn. So I think the middle here, like like the bottom here, should be good. Okay, there's. Just This is already longer than I hoped.
It's raining ice. Well, alright. And then that's how you get clips in Universe Analogs 2. Just need to make the moon like do something. Now would you look at that? <gasps> you see? That's really cool actually. So as you can see, I can edit worry. It's so. Where are you? <gasps> Yay. So let's let's just admire the view. So we are on the ground, officially, and then if we look up, look at that. Not gonna lie though, I wish I they inverted the the y axis like like I need to go up and then swipe down. I'm not used to that. Then this is in eclipse. Look there. Uh that is it. Take photo. And that's how you get solar clips. You just need to edit the moon's uh, perimeters around the orbit and more. And then if you want, you can customize the moon and the planet and the stars. And this is really rare because sometimes it can be partial, yeah. This is totality. But if you want, you can go also go like here to see, uh, to see partial. Not partial anymore. The star is actually really small. Yep, that's partial. Yep, that's it. Now there's also now we have something here. We can have a round. Mm -hmm. 
जूता I so if you want an idea, we could, you know. We could use like you could zoom out the moon a bit, but we can also add another one, which makes it more interesting. And alright, let's see what this weird asteroid has here. Zuta. We could make an animal clip using that, but yeah, I can barely see it. So, that's the end of the video. To make an eclipse, all you need is a planet, the moon, and a star. You need to make sure that the star is big enough and far enough so that it can eclipse. I want the moon to be big enough and close enough to eclipse to, to be bigger than the star. And then you just need to edit the moon's perimeters, like I mean the moon's uh, orbit and and distance relationship to the planet, to order to, or in order to get a solar eclipse. Oh no. And then we can get a really dark as all clips. Yep. And yet you can't even see this star. You see, that is a moon. What happened? All right, that's. No, the video is officially ending, and bye.